Hey, yeah, we're back. Yet another episode of Boys Beer Review. Back on the patio. We got the smoker rolling. And yeah, we got some beers chilling, so we're going to do it. Yet another round tonight since we're having fun. Again, I got RJ, Eric, and Mike with me. I'm Terry. I'm going to start over here with Mike tonight. Uh, and uh, we're stepping outside a box a little bit here. So, Mike, what do you got? Well, I got a beer. Work. <laughs> it's a Sierra Nevada flip side seasonal red IPA. We got for uh, alcohol on that one. 6.2 by volume. Sweet. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. That beer, by the way, is recommended by my buddy Harley McClure. So, Harley, thank you. Shout out there. Yeah. I've got a Breckenridge Avalanche Amber, Amber Ale. It's uh, 5.6. Made by the Fine Brewery in Breckenridge, Colorado. They make good beers. Fantastic. I like the order. Fantastic beer. I'm supporting the Firestone Walker Double Jack, um, courtesy of the folks at uh, Against the Green in Rock Island. Uh, it's 9.4 or 9.5 percent um, out of California. Firestone Walker. Look them up. They make good beer. A new one to me. Uh, Summit Beer, which I'm not, which is not new to me, but this one is a another IPA, batch number 13, a British style IPA. Um, 6.6 .6 with 66 IBUs. It's poor boys. We got beer to drink. All right. We got all kinds of crazy and out of order and stuff. I'm gonna start. For it. Firestone pours nice. And clean, light, golden color, very little carbonation, got a good one finger head, nice creamy, big bubbled white head to it. Um, like I say, very little carbonation out of the bottle. Um, looking good, I'm going to give it a quick nose. Oh, fruits, it's a good IPA. Got a lot of fruit notes in there, some, some hops in the background on it, but a lot of fruit notes. Who wants to go next? Tear it up here. Uh, well, I poured mine. It's my pouring style. I just don't pour for head. So, minimal head. Malty. Uh, not very hopped. I don't know what the IBUs are, but uh, Amber Ale's not going to be very hoppy, so I'm not expecting much on the bitter side. I poured mine. Got a lot of head. Quite a bit of carbonation. Darker beer. Hmm. Don't know what I'm getting out of that. Me neither. That's a new one on me. I'm really anxious for that beer. A little bit of fruit. A little bit. Cool. What do you got over here, RJ? That's a pretty light looking IPA. That's kind of what I was thinking. I mean, they say don't judge a book by its cover, so yeah, that's I'm not true. gonna I'm not gonna yeah, go there is. just yet. But this is very, very, very light looking. A little bit cloudy, but. That's nothing wrong with that in an IPA. I got very little head off of it, maybe a finger. It doesn't look like I'm going to get much lacing out of it. First initial nose off of it is it It smells like a light-bodied beer. Almost like a white IPA, maybe? Yeah, it, I'm getting a little bit of floral hints to it, but nothing that's jumping right out at me at yeah. first here. So I guess we'll have to just wait and see how this one yeah. breathes, sits, and tastes. Now, let's have a beer, boys. The yellow beer drinkers. Oh, oh my. Boy, the thick complexity that is Firestone Walker. That's a heavy beer. Real thick feel for the body of that beer. Uh, alcohol comes in at the back end. A lot of malts. Um, <clears throat> really curious to how they how they brew that and boil it out. Um, a lot of malt flavor, a lot of creaminess to it. Um, the hops are there, the fruits are definitely present. Uh, but the thing about this, it's a double IPA. So anytime you get a double IPA, you typically are going to expect tons of hops to smack you. Um, they don't smack you. It's more like a gut shot. Um, it's just there. It doesn't stand out. It's very well balanced, very complex, and honestly, it's it's a thick. Thick body, thick feeling beer. 
Tear it up, whoever wants to go. Go ahead and go that way. I'm still thinking Well, here. I feel cheated because I take a drink of this and, eh, you know, I, I didn't expect much from an amber, amber ale, but after hearing your description of the IPA, it makes this one feel even better. Uh, not any noticeable hop character. I mean, nothing really to, to jump off at the top of I mean, a decent malt flavor. Not bad, but I've been drinking IPAs kind of all day today, so yeah. this one's kind of, with the brew hot kind of disappointing, oh, but yeah. yeah, it was fun. Good time, good beers. So I would, I don't know, I'll rate it out, or if you want to wait. Yeah, wait. give us a minute. Yeah, Think about it some more. Yeah. Let's give what Mikey's got to say. This is, uh, I'm going way the other some... way. This is way out from left field. This is almost, I would almost put this right on the verge of a stout. Really? It's pretty thick. Pretty thick body. The head retention was great. Still lacing on the glass. That's always a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of coffee taste. Really? Yep. Wow. I have a red. I have a red. That's a, yep. There's a bit of rye in that too. Yeah. yeah it, a that's an absolute. Milk. Mike is is uh, our our new convert um, to craft beer over the last few months. And uh, this is outside the box. That's an outside the box beer for me, and I like to consider myself. Your rye beers are kind of an outside the box, I think, for anybody. Pretty They're much kind of a seasonal. Yeah. They come around once in a while. Either so that's, you like them or you love them. They're something. Yeah, they got a good hop blend: Citrus, yeah. Co, and Centennial. So that's a, that's, a, that's that's a good hop blend. Can't go wrong. <laughs> and then with the rye in it, it just that's going to be a different beer, Mike. I mean, that's, I'm sure you haven't tried anything like that before. Well, like I, Killian's on steroids. If yeah. I yeah. <laughs> there you go. But uh, a good thick body to it, huh? Yeah. Good. Yep. Good. I'm going to guess you don't have a thick body over here. I don't have a thick body. I'm not digging it. I'm disappointed. We got the neighbor's dog, by the way. Say hi. Hey, dog. <laughs> this, for this is. I did a little bit of reading on it. They turn their brewmasters loose pretty much and this is what the uh, Mike Lundell brew the brewer's name is came up with batch number 13 it's very uh, light bodied it's very complex I will give it that I can't quite grasp what it is that I'm tasting but it's fallen to my palate very flat it it is bitter but it's not IPA bitter that I really like. Um, and remind me to let you try this when we're done. It it did say, and I'm not quite exactly sure what it is on everything that I read about it online. It said it was a herbal hop. I don't know if that's what it is. Some twist on hops in there somewhere, but it, it it's falling flat to me. It's just, Dude, that's a damn um, shape. Summit usually is. puts it's, out a good beer. Yeah, Summit. Summit's up there, but and I'm not saying it's horrible beer, but I'm saying it's just not your beer tonight. It's not my beer tonight, that's for sure. Well, let's rate them. You want to start, Mike? I'll start. Remember your rating. Don't give us our rating. I will give it a four. Yeah, he's being I like it. I'm, I'm being generous. He's generous tonight. I like it. I'm not a big stout fan, being new to this whole deal, but it is... Very drinkable for me. I, I I do like it. Good deal. I love that Mike's getting into this uh, new beer. Sometimes it cracks me up the yeah. stout and the red and the yeah. you know you can tell yeah. he's stepping way out of the box he's from his Budweiser. Way out of his box. From Mike's a Budweiser blood to red and white to, through yeah. and through. Now, to you, to, you to can't this, argue. And, this is you know is a There's, stout, but compared to yeah. a Budweiser, it's got to be way yeah. heavier. Oh yeah. yeah. This the body alone and flavor Mike, profile. Mike says yeah. the body is thick. That's. I'm looking forward to trying that. Yeah, we, we yeah. when we're done taping here, we may have to all have a little bit of that beer. <laughs> what do you think, Eric? If I had to rate it, I'd give it about a two, two point five. Oh. I like Breckenridge. I like. Uh, I've had their uh, oatmeal stout. It's very good. Fantastic. Their Fantastic. vanilla porter is very good. They, they make a good IPA. Uh, the amber ale. Yeah. I've made better amber ales. Have you? Yeah. Well, and Eric is a very so accomplished homebrew man. Um, Shout out. Very Shout accomplished. Out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah, two point five. Not bad if you like uh, if you like yellow beer. This won't be a, a stretch for you. But. Well, I tell you, I'd had that beer before, and uh, of course, I had it after probably more than I should have. 
And uh, I thought it was great, but at that point, I PBR was probably great that night. So maybe right, maybe my uh, I, 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 my palate was. I a heard bit he was going to be reviewing that one. I was like, well, we've had that. That's good stuff. But yeah. then the same thing. You, you know, know, you know. drink a cake beer all night. Yeah. You have one of those. It could have been a Schlitz <laughs> night. It might have been a Schlitz night. <laughs> Shout out to the guys at Schlitz for making a good beer. Schlitz, yeah. yeah. I'm coming in. There's very few beers that I, I give a nod to. Very few. I've got a handful. Um, this Double Jack is in my top ten um, of the few hundred beers I've tried. Um, I'm going five. I First five beer I've done on here, on our reviews, um, I give it a five on rate beer. It rates at a perfect 100 out of 100 um, overall. 99 out of 9 out of 100 on style rate. Um, I'm going five all the way. Um, the complexity, the, the heavy body, the IPA done without ripping your face off, it's just fantastic beer. If you get a chance to get it, and I know it's hard to get, especially here in Iowa, um, if you can get it and you like IPAs, do yourself a favor. I'm kind of torn on this one. Just being Summit, I want to give it a better rating, but right off the top of my head, I'm throwing a two out there. It's not something that I'm going to pour out, but it's not something that I'm going to buy again. I'm um, not big on the white IPAs. Um, it is a British style, so I'm getting more of maybe you know your your English bitter style per se, as opposed to IPA. But judging it as an IPA, and I'm going to call myself an IPA connoisseur and go out there. It's just not. I'm not digging it. I'm going to go, it's yep, just not it's there. It's not there for you. It's, it's not, not my style. Somebody else may like it. If they like the IPAs, but they don't like the smack you in the face, this may be, may be for you. But for me, I expected more, yeah, especially I have a limited edition and from Summit. You were shot I'm down. Yeah. I was shot down. It's too bad. I'm going to go with the two. It's drinkable. We got a four, a two and a half, a two and a four, or a five tonight. So we got a good mix on this batch. Yep. Um, can't complain about that. Sometimes beer. the beer works, they work. Yep. They you, can never, you really can't go wrong with beer. I mean, beer, you know, I mean. Beer pretty much saved the world. So, yeah. yeah. You know. All right. We're out. Thanks for watching. Boys Beer Day, we will be back. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.